Hi there, this is Billy. This is version 2 of the homemade AutoPod automatic water level controller that can irrigate your hydroponic systems for weeks as long as you've got a big tank of nutrients. This thing can help you control the water level, refill your tanks up to the water level, and you don't need to worry about running out of nutrients as long as you keep refilling the bigger tank. So if you are out on vacation like myself for a week, then no worries. You don't need someone to take care of watering your plants every day. Just make one of these. It's very simple to make and the instructions will follow. In the previous video, I made a proof of concept floating valve for hydroponics. And that is version 1. It's a bit bulky. Water inlet is on the side that takes up some space. So in version 2, I am going to improve it by using a smaller case. Uh, you can still continue to use the the pills box as a floating valve, but the water inlet is coming from the top, so as much space can be saved. Let me explain how it works. Water comes through the yellow inlet. You can control the flow speed by turning the knob there. Water comes out through the jack and the fuel box floating rod will float to the top when the water level reaches the desired level. And then the valve will block the inlet. Uh, there's a piece of silicon tape. I actually use two tapes for additional safety. That will be like a cushion to make sure we can completely block the water because the jet, the nozzle may not be completely perfect and flat. So we need a uh, silicon to compensate for the imperfectness. So when the pill box floats to the top, water will be blocked. There's a drinking straw at the top because we need to let out the air. Otherwise there will be air pressure. Otherwise there will be a vacuum inside the black box and the floating valve cannot float to the top. As you can see the water level has reached the preset level, 1.5 cm. And then water stops. So no more uh, water coming out. As you can see, the water is stable. No more ripples. Let me try to remove the water by the pump. Let me pump away the water. And then we start the whole cycle again. See, there's a ripple coming out at the back of the auto pot. Uh, that means water is still coming out. Very soon the water will stop and we'll see that the ripple is gone. Now the ripple has gone. So we see the water reaches the desired level 1.5 cm. Set it up in the growth bed. Just use the suction cups you uh, keep it in place, otherwise the whole thing will float up. Uh, you put in the cover, make sure the inlet can reach us through one of the holes. If not, you can adjust it. Connect the other end of your pipe to the water bottle. Depending on how big the tank you have, uh, you can water your plants for weeks. Next, put in the vegetables. Then we can put it under the golf light or the direct sunlight and start our planting. Hope you enjoyed this video. The next thing I'm going to try to do is see whether we can control the low water mark as well. So when the plants drinks out all the water, the water will not be automatically refilled until uh, the water level drops beyond a low water mark. 
By doing that, we can give a lot of oxygen to the woods and let them be healthy and the harvest will be much richer. If you like my video, please put in a like or leave some comments. Please send to your friends to subscribe too if they are interested in hydroponics. Thank you for watching. See you next time.